Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electrek, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the M2S All Cargo. I'm glad they didn't call it the S Cargo. Anyways, let's go. Thanks for watching Electrek. Cargo bikes come in all shapes and sizes, and I've tried quite a many. Box bikes, box trikes, bucket bikes, long johns, backfiats, and many more. All these cargo bikes are fun and great for specific purposes, but the long tail cargo bike is the most conventional, versatile, and easy to live with. The all go from M2S is right in that category, playing it safe with the most popular accessories and a very stout design. There's a couple of things that stand out and a couple of things missing too. First up, let's talk about cargo capacity. The bike is listed as capable of carrying 350 pounds. Now I really don't know a whole lot about strength testing, but I'm willing to bet that the bike can handle a little more than that. The spokes in the rear are quite strong, there's a lot of metal on the frame, and I've also seen smaller bikes that have higher ratings. The rear deck is pretty big and can hold objects both big and small strapped to all that extra metal. If you're comfortable with it, the bike can carry quite a bit of cargo. One great cargo aspect is the dual battery system that M2S is using. The bike sports two 48 volt 11.6 amp hour batteries, making a combined total of 1,113.6 watt hours of energy. Without cargo, this would take me about 40 miles using just the throttle. That's a lot more energy than I would use in a typical day of cargo biking, but for the rare occasion, it is great to have the additional safety net. As a bike for work, the Algo is pretty good. The ride is very stable under load, and despite the slight step through frame, it's pretty strong. I prefer the rider weight pushed forward to more evenly distribute the heavy loads, considering everything goes on the back and that's also where the motor is. The adjustable stem helps push the rider weight forward, so it works out. For the most part, I'm okay with the 160 mm hydraulic disc brakes, but honestly, I would prefer to see a bit larger discs for the occasions when I'm carrying heavy loads and going pretty fast. The next core use for the bike is for carrying kids. As it stands, the bike can carry bigger kids, maybe around five years and older. The smaller kids will have a tough time reaching the footboards. And if you're looking to attach a kid seat like the Yep, then you'll need an adapter. In my case, I use the kid rails. I'm not sure what they're called yet, but it's actually not on M2S website. Now these rails, they fit great and they make a huge difference. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that M2S is going to be releasing a front basket to fit on this mount for the time when you have kids and a little bit of cargo. I really hope that they make a set of wheel skirts that will shield the kids from putting their feet into the spokes and I don't know if those are coming out at the moment. Right now I'm using an aftermarket pad for the kids to sit on. It's not a perfect fit, but I'm guessing that since M2S is just getting into cargo bikes with this as their first model, that they're going to release a bunch of accessories that are custom fit for the bikes. Now I should say a bit more about refinement or I guess the lack thereof. None of the complaints that I'm going to list are deal breakers for me and I'll tell you why when I'm done. The throttle really makes up for the lack of pedaling comfort. The Shimano Acera is all right for the derailleur, but when I was carrying cargo, I wished that I had a more robust derailleur. The gear selection is somewhat limited and the cadence-based pedal assist I'll call dated. This isn't the kind of bike that I'm going to baby or shine the sparkly paint on it or anything. I'm going to lean hard on the cargo capabilities when I just got to get stuff done and I need completion. The dual battery setup is a great way to differentiate the Algo from the competition. With the ability to carry higher loads for longer periods, this bike is more equipped to replace a car, which is exactly what I've been using it for. If this sounds like a solution for you and your family, then I think the M2S Algo is worth a good look. The accessory line isn't priced out yet, but as it stands, the bike has the dual battery, the wooden foot rails, the wooden deck, and it's priced at $1,999. I think this is competitive given the equipment. So there's my two cents on it, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Electrek, and I'll see you guys on later.